Hi, my name is Zachary Golub, and I'm here to tell you about the three men that changed the NBA. The NBA in the 1950s was a lot, was a lot different than the NBA today. Uh, black people in the NBA were not really considered for anything, and uh, it really took these three great people to help integrate black people into the NBA. The NBA, as of today, is about 75% um, black, and back then, there was only three players in the NBA who were black. So the first player was Earl Lloyd. On October 31st, 1950, he was drafted to the Washington Capitals. And um, he, was, uh, he was the first ever black person to play in an NBA game. So you would argue that he is the most important black player. He did a lot for the league. He, uh, after this, he became a coach. And then after he was a coach, um, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. But uh, during his time as um, an NBA player, he was not really treated that well by the fans. The fans would scream, obviously, a really bad word at him, and uh, it would just it just wasn't good all around. But his teammates were actually pretty accepting due to the fact that in college, um, teams, uh, basketball teams, were already integrated. So that means that. Uh, they were already used to playing with black people on the court, and they didn't really care for that that much. The second player now is Charles Henry Cooper, and he was the first black player to be drafted in the NBA. Uh, he played about four seasons with the Celtics, and he moved to Milwaukee, and uh, he was an all-around really good player, but he really set the toll for uh, black people being being allowed to be drafted into the league, which is a huge step in the league for the integration of black people into the league. And now the final player is Nate Sweetwater Clifton. He uh, was the first ever black player to sign a contract in the NBA, which is really huge so that black people can make money while playing basketball. Um, he was signed to the Knicks in 1950, and um, he really just made his mark on the league. Um, he was a, an extremely good player. He was also inducted into the Hall of Fame, as were uh, the other two men, and he really just helped make the difference in the in the league uh, by uh, just really uh, he was he was a really good player. So he really helped control and uh, and really helped the situation. Um, These three players really started the path uh, for the NBA of what it is today because without these three players, uh, we wouldn't have the NBA that we have today. We wouldn't have LeBron James, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. We wouldn't have all these good black men in this league if it weren't for these three men. They really paved the way for, I guess you could say, everybody to be included in the league, not even just black people. Uh, they helped foreign, other foreign countries uh, be accepted into the NBA. And now we see, see some really good talent from all over the place in the NBA. If, but if it wasn't for these three guys, this might have never happened. They really, really paved the way for every, everybody to be included in the NBA, and they made it what it is today. Um, one other thing is that you really have to focus on how hard these men work. These men work tirelessly to get better at their craft. They work tirelessly to uh, just be better humans and be more understanding and help people see why black people, it, that it's okay for them to be in these leagues, that it's okay for them to participate, how it's okay for them to make money, and how it's really just okay for them overall to just be in this league and show their worth and show how... I don't want to say better, but they were sort of better at at basketball than the typical white men back then. These guys could dunk. They were crazy fast, crazy athletic, and it really brought up the new standard for this new NBA that we were about to be unfolded into. So to conclude, these three men simply just paved the way for everybody else to be included in the NBA, especially the black man, and if it wasn't for them, who knows what the NBA would be like today.
and thank God for them because I wouldn't want to find out.